Hey geeks, before we get started, make sure to do your boy a favor, like, subscribe, leave some comments on the video, let me know what you want to see in the future, and make sure to check out our giveaways playlist because we've got some great giveaways coming up. Speeder bike scout trooper, but this time with a child. What's up geeks? We're here with another Star Wars The Mandalorian Black Series figure. Now this is a Speeder Bike Scout Trooper and he does come with the child. The Speeder Bike Scout Trooper was released before by himself. With the craze it is The Mandalorian, they couldn't resist releasing one with the child on his hip. Alright, so the packaging looks nice. It falls in line with the newer character art packages. And the box design also follows suit. You can see on the side, it does have the slanted angled side that the single figures do have. On the top you got a nice picture of the scout trooper on the speeder bike, an even better picture on the back. Scout troopers were lightly armored compared with other storm troopers which allowed them to move more quickly and easily in a range of environments. They were also trained for more independence and adaptability than most imperial troopers. The empire used scout troopers for a range of missions including reconnaissance and infiltration. All right, make sure not to throw away the background insert. It's a good backdrop for some pictures. And there he is in his cage. Man, he looks like he is just showing off. So what accessories do we have? Of course we have the child, or was it Groku? I think his name is now. He has his blaster. And I believe that's the target from the TV show that they were aiming at and trying to shoot. Here's the target piece. And his wee blaster. This thing is tiny. And there he is, riding out. So that base that the speeder bike is on looks very similar to the base that was used with Cosmic Ghost Rider. I think there was some sharing going on there. But yeah, he's tough, man. And the speeder bike looks nice and worn and damaged. And his suit is old and dirty, just like it was in season one. And this thing looks good. Tight work. Alright, so there's a close-up of Grogu. And it's not the actual figure that's in there. It's just his head. And the pouch is wrapped around him inside like a blanket so he doesn't come out of there. I thought maybe it was going to be a second figure. Alright, so speeder bike has some impressive detail. Again, you see that there is damage here. Looks like it's dirt, wind, and maybe some thruster damage. The other side actually has raised sculpting instead of uh, flat paint or stickers. And there's a little turbine engine there. Looks like some exhaust tubes. Foot pedals. It's got a storage satchel on the back. Looks like uh, it's supposed to be metal pieces in the exhaust. Got your accelerator handles, your wee blaster, big daddy blaster. Oh, <laughs> pop right out. This thing looks good. All right, so this essentially looks like the regular base figure that came as a single release and with the other speeder bike, just a little bit different on the paint deco. Three sixty on the head. Swivel. Straight forward. Down. Way up. Arms do go up parallel to the shoulder. Get a full three sixty. No butterfly joint there. So your range is standard. Straight forward, straight back. 360 on the bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, get fantastic range, he can vogue. This is the pistol hand, your range up, 
straight forward and down if he breaks it to fight. The other hand is also horizontal, so you're not getting repulsor blast or kiss the ring. And looks like you're not getting the bend either. Don't break on me. All right, I'm not messing with it. Torso is on a limited rocker. You get a slight range of motion there. You do not get a 360. It bucks up against the front. You could probably force it, but I think it feels like it would scratch it up and cut into it. So yeah, I would say no on the 360 there. Waist, nope. No 360 at the waist. So check this out. This back of the knee joint is warped. It goes out to the left. That has to be defective. Look at his leg. He's bowed on one leg. Can he can can? Yes, he can can. Limited on the split range, even with the bowing. Do you have a 360 on the thigh swivel? Also on the calf swivel. And you get 360 on the foot rocker. Not a lot of range bending forward. Good range with a double jointed knee, a little bit of help, he can kick himself in the butt. If it wasn't for that bold leg, he might be moonwalking somewhere. You can see on his right calf, he has a holster for his blaster. Amazingly enough, I was able to get him to stand with that bold leg. Man, he is definitely sharp. All right, this is definitely a tough figure, man. I'm, I'm digging it. All right, so the force is strong in this one. I'm really digging it. What do you guys think? Is this worth picking up if you already have the original speeder or are you gonna pass on it? You know, Mandalorian makes everything fresh and brand new. I for one love it and think it's a must have to your Star Wars collection. All right, geeks, let me know what you think in the comments. Sound off, make sure to like and subscribe to get more Star Wars Black Series videos like this. And the best thing you can do for the channel is to share with a friend help the channel grow. I appreciate it. Till next time, geek out.